Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxy and today I will show you how to make this very beautiful tunic uh, for all season. You can use any type of yarn who is suitable with uh, spring, summer, autumn or winter. And also you can adapt it to and you can make um, a beach dress. You can make it along with a cotton yarn and will be very nice for a beach dress. Uh, it's adapted to any size. It's not hard to make and uh, the yarn that I use is Papatia Batik and look how beautiful colors but you can use any type of yarn you want. The crochet that I use is 3.5 millimeters. But you also can use any type of crochet number uh, you want, who is suitable with the yarn that you want to use. Um, if you like my work, please support me and subscribe to my channel and also if you want the written pattern you can find it here uh, into the bottom in my presentation so let's begin so as you can see i already made one part it's very beautiful and it look like a T letter. But before I will show you how to make the stitch, I give you some information. So before you begin, you need to know this stitch is a multiple of 12 plus 2. So multiple of 12 plus 2. But first you need to measure Look, here it is the, <clears throat> the waist and here it is where the hips are bigger. You need to measure uh, half way between the waist and the hips. In my case, my mother is a smart person and she has uh, 84 centimeters, but don't matter what size you have. The measure is take in the same way. So the result that you obtain, you divide by two. Why by two? Because we make one for the front and one for the back. So you need to make two parts. Um, in my case, with the yarn that I use, with the crochet also that I use, for uh, 36 stitch, I have 16 centimeter or 6.25 inch. And 9 rows is 8 centimeter or 3.12 inches. But depend uh, how it is your style to work and also the yarn that you use. So 36 stitch has three groups with shell. One, two and three. Okay? But depend also the crochet that you want to use and also the yarn. And now, uh, also before you begin, you need to make a test. Why? Because after you make some rows, your work is narrow it a little. So it is very important to make a test and to make at least five group with shells. So one, two, three, four, five. 
a list, okay? And then you can you can measure. But for the test, you chain a multiple of twelve plus two. In the test that I will show you, I chain thirty six. It is a multiple of three, and I will have one, two, three groups plus two. Okay. So chain after your chain the number that you need the first and the second row don't count look the first and the second these two rows will be the base and I name this row first A A row and B row okay so first we make the a row skip one into the next make single crochet and make single crochet in every stitch this is the row number a for the base single crochet in every stitch continue until you finish and then I will show you how to make the next row I finish the first row at the base and now we make the row number B for the base chain one turn your work and here into the first stitch make one single crochet chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 skip 1 2 3 stitch into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet join then uh, chain 3 1 2 and 3 skip 3 1 2 3 into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain five one two three four and five skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain five again one two three four sorry and five skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain three one two and three skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain five again one two three four and five skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and make single crochet chain five again one two three four and five skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain three again one two and three skip three one two three into the four stitch join with single crochet chain five one two three four and five skip three one two three into the last stitch insert the crochet and make single crochet and look at the beginning and at the end of the row you have chain five then chain three at the beginning and at the end you also you have chain five and then chain three and all always only at the beginning at the end of the row and into the rest you must have after you chain three two times with chain five okay so 
here it is the end of the row here I have chain 5 chain 3 chain 5 two times chain 3 chain 5 two times okay and at the end of the row also at the beginning of the row also I have chain 5 chain 3 okay so now we finish the base and now we make the row number one at this stitch chain five one two three four and five turn your work and join with single crochet into the chain five space into the chain three space make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven then into the next chain five space join with single crochet chain five one two three four and five into the next chain five space join with single crochet into the next chain three space make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven join with single crochet into the next chain five space one more time chain five one two three four and five join with single crochet into the chain five space into the chain three space make also seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven join with single crochet into the last chain five space chain two one two yarn over and you insert the crochet into the sing, uh, single crochet at uh, the end of the row and make double crochet and you will see the beginning and the end of the row will look the same and now I will show you how to make the row number two now you make the row number two chain five one two three four and five turn your work and you insert the crochet into the second double crochet this is uh, the single crochet where you join and you have one double crochet and into the second join with single crochet so skip one double crochet into the next join with single crochet chain three one two and three count one two three into the four double crochet instead crochet and join with single crochet chain five one two three four and five join with single crochet into the chain five space chain five again one two three four and five join with single crochet into the second 
डबल क्रोशा Chain three again. One, two, and three. Skip three. One, two, three. Into the next, insert the crochet and join with single crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Join with single crochet into the chain five space. Chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. Join with single crochet into the second double crochet. Chain three again. One, two, three. Skip three. One, two, three. Into the next. Join with single crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now you count three stitch. One, two, and three. And insert the crochet into the third chain at the previous row and make single crochet okay and now uh, I will show you again how to make the first row because uh, we repeat two rows over and over again so now we make again the row number one chain five one two three four and five oh sorry turn your work join with single crochet into the chain five space into the chain three space make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven join with single crochet into the next chain five space chain five one two three four and five join with single crochet into the next chain five space into the next chain chain three space make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven join with single crochet into the chain five space it look very very nice chain five again one two three four and five join with single crochet into the next chain five space into the chain three space make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven join with single crochet into the chain five space chain two one two yarn over and insert the crochet into the first chain at the previous row okay because since now you don't have single crochet here at the end of the row so insert the crochet into the first chain at the previous row and i will show you one more time how to make the row number two chain five two three four and five turn your work Insert the crochet into the second double crochet and join with single crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. Skip three, one, two, three. Into the next, insert the crochet, join with single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. 
join with single crochet chain 5 again 1 2 3 4 and 5 join with single crochet into the second double crochet at the previous row chain 3 1 2 and 3 keep 3 1 2 3 into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 join with single crochet into the chain 5 space chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 join with single crochet into the second double crochet at the previous row chain 3 1 2 3 skip 3 1 2 3 into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 and count 1 2 3 and insert the crochet and join with single crochet okay now you uh, repeat number one and number two until you have five times with double crochet and then you can measure how many centimeter or inch you have after you make five rows one two three four and five and then you can calculate how many chain you need to make to begin the <clears throat> the part for the body okay and you calculate as I show you and in my case as you can see uh, I have 42 centimeter and for this 42 centimeter I have one two three four five six seven eight group uh multiple with 12 and now you continue to work until you reach it under arm okay in my case i want this tunic to be <coughs> a little long and uh, you work until you reach it here under arm so many centimeter or inch you want and the last row before we begin the slave must be a row with double crochet and chain five so the last row very important must be the row with double crochet and also after you finish the uh, the last row will be for outside as you can see and don't cut the yarn because i will show you how to continue okay i work it until i reach it uh, under arm and now it's time to make uh, the slave we make the slave and at the same time you make the body part okay but first in my case I want the slave to be until at the elbow and uh, I measure at my model and she has 21 centimeter for this 21 centimeter I measure here at the body and I have one two three four group one two three four group uh, who is multiple with 12 okay so in total I need to chain um, 48 and 
in to the left here you chain uh, a number of stitch who is multiple with 12 plus one only into the left I will continue here and I chain the number that I need so I chain for uh, to, uh, four group one two three four and I have 21 centimeter and I chain 48 plus one after I chain I will show you how to continue I chain the number that I need for the left and I keep the yarn exactly how it is so don't cut the yarn and now I take another yarn with the same color in my case is the white color and you turn your work with the outside up and now we make even if you turn your work now we make for the right for the right you chain the number of stitch that you need who is multiple of 12 not plus one so in my case I have one two three four group and I chain 48 so for the right don't make plus one okay and make a slip knot and here count one two into the third stitch insert the crochet and begin to chain okay one two three four five and continue until you finish and I will show you after I chain how to continue I chain the number that I need and now cut the yarn and make a slip knot and now turn your work with the outside up and for me it's very important when I make the first part uh, I work it uh, almost a half for the uh, for the slave and uh, after I make some rows I have here into the right I have the color only uh, white and yellow into the right oh sorry sorry and into the left uh, I, I have uh, pastel gray and dark gray and I don't like it and uh, how I make for example look here I begin with the white color after I will finish okay after I will finish I uh, and after I finish with the white color the next color is the gray pastel color and I cut the yarn and I use again white color so I use signs now I use two times uh, the same color so here I have white color and I work two times then I have 
uh, pastel gray color and also I work too tight. Okay, and at the end I I have also with the white color and here I want I work three times one two three times with the white color and look the slave is look the same with the body part see and I even if I have uh, many knots I prefer like that uh, but it's your choice how you want to use the yarn if you work uh, with only one color you don't have, have this problem and now how do you know how many centimeter or inch you need for the slave you measure at the shoulders until under arm in my case my model has 16 centimeter okay so work so many rows you need until you obtain the number of centimeter or inch that you have and now you begin to make the slave here the body part and also the slave this first row of the slave is the row B that I show you when I begin so the row B at the base okay so turn your work skip one into the next insert the crochet and make single crochet chain five one two three four and five skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain three one two and three skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and make single crochet chain five one two three four and five skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain five again one two three four and five skip three two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet chain three one two and three skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet okay so continue until you reach it here and then i will show you how to continue i work it until I almost reach it here and look the last group until I reach it here is the chain 3 space then chain 5 skip 3 1 2 and 3 and into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet here it is the first stitch the last stitch of the previous row and then chain five, five again one two three four and five and insert the crochet into the second double crochet and now you continue as I showed chain three one two three skip three into the next join with single crochet so look i will have uh, four groups with double crochet one 
two, three, and four. Exactly as I should. I work until I reach it here, and then I will show you how to continue. I work it until I almost reach it here, and I make the last group with chain three, and then chain five, and insert the crochet exactly here where you begin to chain and join with single crochet chain five again one two three four and five skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet and look you have one two times we chain five one time we chain three chain three again one two and three skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and join with single crochet continue as i show you until you finish the row and then i will show you how to continue i almost finished the row and look I also have here one two three four group where I will make seven double crochet so after you make the last chain three space chain five skip three one two three into the last stitch insert the crochet and join with single crochet and now since now you work as i show you make uh, row number one and two so many times you need one two three four and and five turn your work and join with single crochet into the chain five space into the next chain three space make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven join with single crochet into the next chain five five space chain five one two three four and five join with single crochet into the next chain five space see you work as i show you okay and look i have one two three four groups into the right and one two three four groups into the left now you work so many rows you need and the last row is the row with seven double crochet and chain five okay i will finish and then i will show you how to join uh, the front side and the back side i finish the second part and also I join only into the right look how beautiful it is and also I sew from the slave until I almost reach it at the bottom so because uh, I want to have into the right and into the left, left some space uh, the tunic will be more beautiful like that if you don't like it you can sew until here at the bottom and 
uh, before you begin to sew you put a stitch marker where you want to finish to sew okay and you turn your tunic with the outside up because we sew from inside okay and we begin at the slave until you reach it at the stitch marker and you take a yarn needle and insert the, crow, uh, insert the yarn needle into the first stitch at the back side and into the first stitch at the front side. Make two knots, one and two. Now you continue to sew. It's very easy and simple, okay? Make sure you don't uh, tight uh, the yarn when you sew, okay? Slowly. Okay, continue on till you reach your underarm and then continue until you reach it at the stitch marker. After you finish to sew uh, into the left and into the right, I will show you how to join here at the shoulder part. After you finish to sew, it's time to join here at the shoulders part. But before we begin to join, you need to put a stitch marker, one into the uh, right, one into the left. And you keep so many space you need uh, for your neck, okay? And if you want to begin to join here uh, into where you make seven double crochet you count one two three into the four stitch insert the crochet then count again at the back side you count again one two three and also insert the crochet into the fourth stitch and put a stitch marker one moment please and also make the same for the right part if you want to begin to join at the chain one space you only take a stitch marker and put here Okay, uh, when you begin to join into the right, you begin from the stitch marker until you finish. And now I will join into the left and also I begin at the stitch marker until I finish. Very important, when you finish, don't cut there, because look, we make a edge with picot stitch, okay? And
make a slip knot and insert a crochet uh, into the four stitch at the front side and also at the back side. Pull the yarn, chain one. Now I will take the stitch marker. One moment, please. So after you chain one, make into the same stitch single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now insert the crochet into the next chain five space at the front side and into the next chain five space at the back side. Pull the yarn and join with single crochet. Chain four again, one, two, three, and four. And now you count one, two, three, insert the crochet into the fourth stitch at the front side, and count again one, two, three, four, insert the crochet into the fourth stitch at the front side, and join them with single crochet. One more time one, two, three, four. Insert the crochet into the next chain five space at the front side and also into the next chain five space at the back side and join them with a single crochet. Okay, continue until you almost finish. And don't cut that because I will show you how to make the edge. I almost finished to join. I make the last uh, chain four, and now you insert the crochet here into the last stitch at the front side, and also into the last stitch at the back side, and. Now you join with slip stitch. Don't make single crochet. Chain one and now we begin to make the edge. Into the same stitch make one single crochet and look. In this you even here if you have a big space here you make only one single crochet in this space two so here count one single crochet here two one two okay so you have one single crochet two and three chain two one two and now insert the crochet into the last single crochet and also make one single crochet you skip one here it is one stitch and you make three single crochet two here one here so one two and three chain two one two and insert the crochet into the last stitch and join with single crochet. Skip one when you need to skip one here in this little space you make only one. So one, two and three. 
chain two again one two insert the crochet into the last single crochet and join with single crochet you skip one and make again three single crochet one two and three chain two again one two join with single crochet you skip again one and make three one two in this little space and one in this big space okay continue all around when you finish join with slip stitch here into the first single crochet cut and high dial and the last part of this tunic is also here at the bottom we make all around the same edge that I show you with picot stitch okay so when we make here in this space count two single crochet here one two one two one as I show you at the slave and here it is a normal stitch and it is easy to make okay I hope you like it I think it's not hard to make if you like my work please support me and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and bye bye